Welcome back to the 6th Gear Garage. I love my 80 series Land Cruiser, but it is from 1994 and the lighting is pretty dated compared to modern vehicles. Today I'm going to upgrade the headlights with LED bulbs from Cougar Motor and we'll see how much it improves night visibility. Here's the original headlights. They're glass, not plastic, so they won't get cloudy or yellow over time. We need to talk about the difference between US 80 series Land Cruisers and this imported 80 series from Japan. The US models use two separate headlight bulbs for low and high beams, 9006 and 9005 sizes. The Japanese models use one H4 bulb for the headlight that has the low and high beam in the same bulb. On the other half of the headlight housing, they have an integrated yellow fog light which looks so good. This JDM80 also has the rare optional factory Bosch round driving lights on the optional OEM stainless brush guard. On the dash, there's a toggle switch that lets me turn on the fogs or the Bosch lights, but not both at the same time. So today, I'm going to upgrade the H4 halogen headlight bulbs to 6000K LED bulbs from Cougar Motor. They were really cool about this YouTube video, so they gave me a 12% coupon code for all my subscribers to use. It's down in the description. And they even sent me a set of 9005 and 9006 LED bulbs, which I'm going to give away to one of my US 80 series subscribers, since you all probably don't have the Japanese headlights. More on that later in the video. So let's unbox these and see what we have. Uh, this is the 9006 and the 9005 bulbs. They're almost identical, so we'll just look at one of them. Instructions included with each bulb here. And here is the bulb itself. Wow, it's really nice. This is actually looks more like a work of art. This is the one that I'm gonna be giving away along with the 9006 over here because these are for the US Model 80 Series Land Cruisers. Now let's take a look at the H4 high-low bulb, which will be used in the headlight high-low for my Land Cruiser, which has the import headlights. Very nice, you can see it's got the uh, dual LEDs, one for the high, one for the low. You can see they got a little bit of weight to them, you can tell they're not cheap. All right, let's go install these. We'll start on this side. It's gonna be tough to show me removing and replacing the bulb because it's pretty cramped back here. But on the left here is the headlight, and on the right here is the fog light. For some reason, the fog light also has this extra plug on the harness. No idea why. If anyone knows what this is for, let me know in the comments. Well, things got off to a rough start. The plug was really stuck to the back of the bulb. That was a pain. No idea why it was so hard to pull this plug off of the headlight. There's a little rubber tab here on top of the headlight. I need to pull that back to remove the rubber cover and eventually it'll start to come off might need a little push with a screwdriver to get it moving all right it's ready to come out but this black plug is in the way i unplugged the black plug uh looks like it's something for the ac unit now i can grab this rubber cover and pull it out of the way there we go and that's all it is now back here there's a thin metal clip that latches into the housing and holds the bulb in place. Unlatch that and it swings out of the way. Then I can pull out the original halogen H4 bulb. You can see it has the dual filaments in there for the high and low beams. Here's the new versus the old. You can see the LED bulb is a little longer on the back, but that shouldn't be a problem. I'll save the old bulb just in case it doesn't fit. Then it goes back in the housing in this orientation. It only fits in properly one way. If I can just keep this clip swung out of the way. If you have huge hands, good luck. Then lock the clip back on. Before I put that rubber cover back on, I'm gonna make sure everything works. Here's halogen and LED. This really updates the look of the vehicle. Looks like the lights might uh, be from this century now. Although I might get an amber bulb for the corner light now, instead of this off-white bulb. I think it would look better with a little more contrast. Look at how much faster the LED bulb switches from low to high beam compared to the halogen bulb. I sprayed some soapy water around the outside edge of this cover to help it slide back on easier. 
Don't use any kind of oil-based spray on it because that can degrade the rubber over time. All right, plug in the bulb and this other plug I had to undo, done. And the other side was the same process, except I had a lot more room to work after I moved the coolant tank out of the way. Okay, it's dark now and it's time for the test drive. But first, let's see a video I made with the OEM halogen lights. Here we go for a slow cruise down this dark road. Uh, right now, I've just got my low beams on. Here's the highs. It really shifts the beam uh, close range to far away. Look at that. Now, how many 80 series owners still have a working D light on the cluster? Back to low beams. Now with the fog lights. Now high beams with fogs. Now just back to high beams. So I mean, yeah, I can see at night, but it's nothing like the output of a modern vehicle headlamp. Back on low beam here. One last look at the high beam. I'm cruising down the same dark road as I did before with the halogen bulbs. This is LED low beams. Let's see the high beams. Back to low beams. Low beams with fog lights. Back to low beams only now. Now high beams. Here, you can see them work better. They're very focused compared to the way the light scatters with the low beams. The high beams are narrow, but so focused that they shine really far. High beams with fogs. Back to lows, still with the fogs. And here's those round Bosch lights. Not really good for much light. So here's a quick comparison of the OEM halogen bulb on the left and the Cougar Motor 6000K LED bulb on the right. For all my US subscribers with an 80 series Land Cruiser, post the year and the mileage down below in the comments, along with anything else you wanna say about it, like condition or any mods you got done to it. And uh, at the end of the month, I'll pick one of those comments at random to receive these 9006 and 9005 LED headlight bulbs and ship them to your US address. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more how-to videos and project vehicle updates here at the 6th Gear Garage.